Hi folks, this video gives some advice and suggestions about how to go about studying the ICND-1 Exam Cert Guide, Chapter 5, titled Fundamentals of IP Addressing and Routing. This is the most central core concept in all of the CCENT and CCNA certifications. So it's a very important chapter. Like all these chapters, everything that's in the book is fair game on the exam. However, let me tell you some things to focus on. On your first pass reading of the chapter, I'm not so much worried about IP addressing. You're going to get it or you're not going to pass the test. There's more material on it in the chapter or in, uh, later in the book. However, there are some very important concepts that uh, you need to get in this chapter to make the rest of the book a little easier. First off, routing. Routing is the process by which a router receives an IP packet, looks at the destination address, makes a forwarding decision, and sends it on its way. So we need to think about that. And you also need to focus on host routing, how a host computer thinks about routing as compared to a router. Now this chapter also covers ARP, and it's pretty much the only place in the book that we talk about ARP. It's a relatively simple protocol, but it's a very important one. So make sure you pay close attention to ARP. And again, with IP addresses, uh, think about them and learn it and read it, but you don't have to worry about memorizing every little thing yet. Now, when you're done with the chapter and you're reviewing it before you move on to the next chapter, uh, ditto. Focus on routing, host routing, and ARP. Everything else is important, but, you know, if you're fo going to focus on something, focus on those three. Now, when you get to the part review, you will have read all six uh, chapters in the first part. Now you can focus on the interaction between routing at layer three and the data link layer, layer two. So you think about that, it is covered in this chapter. Uh, you want to make sure you've got that down. At the same time, you want to be able to say, take a basic figure like this, where we see a host A, and we see three routers labeled one, two, and three, and a host B on the far right. If I were to give them some IP addresses, like say 1.1.1.1 and 2.2.2.2, could you tell me what happens when A sends B a packet? So you need to be ready to think through that. That's something you should be ready to do for the exams. So it's a good opportunity to start reviewing that concept. And by the way, I'll probably do a techie topic video on just that case uh, for um, more learning. Anyway, when you're finally done with the whole book and you're doing your final prep, you got to nail the routing concepts, again, in the context of that picture. Uh, you want to have all your IP addressing concepts down cold by now. You'll probably be doing more of your review with that with Chapter 12 instead of Chapter 5, but get the IP concepts down. And this whole routing idea and the interaction of Layer 3 and Layer 2 is core to the entire exam, so you really want to master those concepts. So, hope that helps, and enjoy your reading.